Bukod sa pamimigay ng mga libreng makinang pansaka, isa pang mahalagang component ng Rice Mechanization Program ng Filmec ay ang capacity building para matulungan ang mga magsasaka na mapalagu pa ang kanilang kakayahan at magamit ito sa pagninegosyo. Sentro sa progresibong pag-unlad ng pagsasaka ang pagbibigay kapasidad sa ating mga magsasaka na makipagsabayan sa mga bagong hamon ng panahon. Kabilang na rito ang modernisasyon at globalisasyon. Sa bisa ng Rice Tarification Law, binuo ang RCEF o Rice Competitiveness Enhancement Fund na naglalaan ng 5 bilyong pisong pondo kada taon para sa Rice Mechanization Program. Layunin nito na maging abot kamay ng mga farmers associations and cooperatives ang maging hawa at epektibong pagsasaka. Ang programang ito, pinangungunahan ng FILMEC o Philippine Center for Post-Harvest Development and Mechanization. The fund which is intended to help farmers be more competitive against rice imports. For the first time, they have dubbed a formerly research extension agency which has never implemented this such a big program of 5 billion a year. The biggest question is, can Filmet deliver? And I think we are at that stage right now that that hypothesis has been proven more and more that Filmet can deliver. Sa pangunguna ng Filmec, marami nang naipamigay ng mga makinang pansaka sa mga rehistradong farmers' cooperatives and associations sa iba't ibang bahagi ng Pilipinas. Because this is a very unique law that it goes directly to the association of farmers. You have to empower the farmers' cooperative and association and they will be responsible in empowering their members. Pero higit sa simpleng pamimigay ng libreng makinarya na kanilang magagamit sa pagsasaka, isa ring malaking bahagi ng programa ang iba't ibang pagsasanay at extension services na sa namang mag-aangat sa teknikal at pinansyal na kakayahan ng mga magsasaka upang mas mapakinabangan nila ng lubusan ang kanilang mga bagong makinarya. Filmec is continuously doing training, training on uh, repair and maintenance, Uh, operation of the machine as well as managing the service provision of the machine para maging sustainable siya. There should be a lot of uh, technology demonstration, training from land preparation to harvesting and post-harvest. The empowerment of the farmers via their association. That's the initial non-quantifiable impact right now na makasil tayo. So that if you go to the countryside, ibang-iba na yung mga farmers association mo. No. Mayroon silang confidence. Sa pagpasok ng ikatlong taon ng implementasyon ng RCEF program, sisimulan naman ang impact assessment upang mas lalong mapag-aralan ang mga benepisyo ng programa sa mga magsasaka. If we know what happens before and after the intervention, we get lessons from it. I'm so optimistic that uh, if this will continue, on the third year, you'll see really impact on the farmer's level, which is to make the farmer cost-efficient in their activities, at the same time to make them productive, so that the employment of machine will reduce their production cost, at the same time the post-harvest losses. Ngunit hindi lang sa mechanization na kasalalay ang pag-angat ng rice farming sa bansa, mahalaga rin na ang bawat component ng RCEF program ay nagtutugma at may maayos na koordinasyon sa isa't isa. Hindi mo pwedeng isolate ang mechanization, eh, di ba? Kung machine ka lang and you are not talking about the other components of productivity like seed fertilizer and training, pagbigay ka lang ng machine, pinabayaan mo yan, wala. It's not sustainable. So that convergence has to be done smoothly within RCEF. So it's a must that the implementing agencies of RCEP should be talking the same language, talking the same lingo of intervention, knowing the targets that they have posed in the program of productivity, cost efficiency, and higher net income for farmers. Sa tulong ng Filmec at ng RCEF Mechanization Program, tuloy-tuloy nang maaabot ng ating mga magsasaka ang layuning maging rice self-sufficient at globally competitive ang ating sektor ng pagsasaka. We envision that uh, with mechanization, we will be able to lower the cost of production per kilo. We can improve the uh, competitiveness of the rice farmers. In tandem with that of the machines can help boost the productivity of the farmers. There's a lot of efficiency if you use machine. I have not seen any country in the world that have modernized without mechanizations. 
So for modernization of pinag-usapan natin, you need machines, appropriate machines for appropriate activity.